a few other races contacted me at some point in time and basically said that they would have destroyed Earth and basically annihilated everybody on Earth, blah, 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 except for the fact that I was on it. So, anyway, as I am basically epic civilization builder, but basically quite a few other races or life forms basically came by and noticed Earth to be a problem or something like that, contacted me and basically said, oops, we didn't know you were there, sorry, you know. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, anyway, all this stuff would be unbeknownst to even the American government or Rodney, but basically um, quite a few other races wanted to destroy Earth, including the people who left Earth at some point in time to go to Terran or one of the other, other planets or whatever they want to destroy Earth and basically other races basically said no this is for stars there Brian so anyway there's a whole lot of things that basically the humans of Earth don't really realize or understand basically and that is basically I am the great LSF-A colony ship which was basically hailed as the colony ship that spread humanity throughout the galaxy or something like that or something it was a great old colony ship that is on another planet and was lovingly restored, even though it's oval. <laughs> Adds character to it. Um, or something like that. Like I said. And that's also how I'm also the owner of the, of, the, of the Maltese Falcon and blah, blah, blah. And basically, I've pretty much been in existence this entire time, except for a few problems. Like I said, I was with Russia between 1917 and 1974, even though it's supposed to be in the White House between 1974. 1970, 1974, but things got switched around a little bit, but that wasn't really a problem because Russia is a great epic country in its, in its own right and in, has massive reserves, and I was very proud to lead the Russians, basically. So, anyway, I was leading them between 1974 and uh, 1917, 1974, but then I decided to come to America, blah, 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 and basically I've led different countries around this planet through different parts of existence or whatever. Anyway, I am the great old epic creator, or lord of the dark, basically. Anyway, like I say, I don't really care. It's my history. So, you know, it doesn't matter to me. It's like, well, God walks among you. Lucifer walks among you. Me. Like I said, there is no real God. He doesn't exist. There's nobody higher than me. There's nobody older than me. So, anyway, as... And even though most people or the government was trying to restrict my memory or restrict me from remembering who I was, but they couldn't really do that. And I still knew who I was even as a child or even as younger if anybody had ever even asked me. So I was like, well, you know. Anyway, though, owner of the LS Slate Yard. Like I said, if you go back millions or trillions of years, you will know the LS and LC Slate Yard. Originally, I was LS. Somebody started the LC Slate Yard or something like that or I don't know. And I eventually bought it or owned it or something like that. Or basically, I thought it would be cute to have the LS and LC slate yard or something like that. So, anyway, it eventually became the Belfast shipyard, basically. Um, I believe. Like I said, I'm not sure as there are so many projects and so many things going on around the world and other planets, as I've been on more than one. About 120 to 400 other planets, I played a part in their existence and basically the building of them. I've built with the 1.5s, exoskeletons, and probably 400 other lifeform types. I'm not exactly sure. Many other races came to me and asked me for assistance in building stuff, and I did build for them. So, anyway, like I say, I don't really care. Um, you know, it was what I like to do. My passion in existence is basically to build and to create more. So, I am very much a builder and a designer and inventor and after trillions of years of making the more efficient switch I wanted to do something a little bit more artistic and also when I created the human race I wanted to use something that used more water like I said exoskeletons and other life forms are the most efficient as far as using water but don't use much more than a cup like I said some life forms only use like this much water basically or the, this cup was full of water they are very efficient life forms, and I designed them. Um, that's what I did. So, designed them for building, designed them for everything. I also designed the 1.5s and other life form types as well, and also created some life forms that could actually exist on, on acidic planets, as they had very interesting metabolism, metabolism and could do very interesting, cool things. So, I designed them and placed them on planets, blah, 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 all kinds of different things. 
So over hundreds of trillions of years, I wandered the galaxy and did things, basically. And also checked on particle creation throughout the universe, basically, as the stars are basically my property, or at least what I build. Anyway, so, and many people don't know where the stars come from, or how many they are, blah, 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 and there are a lot. And for every one I built, there are more built every single day or every single second or whatever. Anyway, I don't know. There are lots of other life forms, 700. Like I said, I'm only responsible for about 700,000 life forms, they say. So, anyway. And it's a very, very long, distinguished history of basically Lucifer's star, me. So, and with lesser things like the LS shipyard and, and, um, and things, and basically Thomas O'Brien. And, um... I believe it was, there's was originally a, a, um, anyway, I believe it was Thomas and then, and then in the old days you used to be named like a name and then you would, your son or whatever, blah, blah, would take your name plus, plus the new, a new name or something like that. I don't remember exactly, but yes, like I say, basically, um, and once upon a time people were known by numbers or they had numbers and they had names or something like that. A dual system, as there's so many like O'Briens, O'Briens, and on, on the planet Earth. So, and I wanted to keep them straight, because yeah. Anyway though, but there are many great people and many great life forms all around this planet and all throughout the universe. So, anyway, I'm responsible for nine of the oldest races, they say. Like I said, I knew I had built twelve races or twelve life form types, as they say, not races, because that indicates resources, but life form types, and. They say that I'm responsible for the nine of the oldest. So, life form types, or types of life. Including humanity, I don't know, humanity didn't live all that long. They lived a long time, but not, that, not as long as some of the others. So, anyway, I originally built 12 or so. Four exoskeletons, and then there's 1.5s, and, and I might have built 70 or so. I don't know. I also invented 70 of the first things, or a couple of thousand, 2,500 of the first things, or something, are the most useful things that you'll ever have, or ever had. So as I was leading you, and inventing for you, and helping you, and guiding you, and forehead kisses. So, like I say, at some point in time, people tried to frame me as basically being horrible, but like I said, Nixon and JFK and some of the others somehow found out that I was going to torture the shit out of them at some point in time as they would piss me off. And JFK thought that he would be protected from me or he had someone more powerful than me on his side. But he did not, he does not. And basically, he found himself somewhere else, basically with a feeding tube stuck in his arm until he would reach over and try and get it. And it's possible John McCain found himself, or will find himself there too, basically. At some point in time, I might have told them about it just because. Just be like, look, this is your future if you don't, if you keep fucking around. So, anyway, I'm not exactly sure. I don't really give a fuck. That's like, I'm an epic civilization creator and whatever, and you're, and the person who designed you. So, anyway, I designed your metabolic rates as well, and basically your conscious, subconscious, all that stuff, probably. So, anyway, and also gave you basically your feelings. Or helped you with that. Lots of people will say, It's like, I don't really give a fuck. Ask another life form type. Ask the 1.5s. Ask the exoskeletons. Ask something else out there in the universe and get the truth. You know, what, what the American government, what Stomp, what Rodney, I'll be your eyes and your nose and your mouth. You know, is, is what Rodney, Rosalie, and other people are going to do. And it's like, you're not my eyes, you're not my nose, you're not my mouth. You know, I'm Lucifer's star. Some little piece of shit fuckhead cannot be my mouth. So, anyway, as they would go out and blah, 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 lie, or blah, 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 or just fuck up the narrative, basically. Other people knowing of basically what was going on on Earth or going on what was happening. And like I said, meanwhile, um, Earth was trying to do um, uh, sabotage and basically trying to do, um, what's it called, um, what's called, uh, trying to steal technology from other planets, as basically fuckhead and, fu and twiddle D and twiddle dumb were doing America. You know, Rick Bush, Rodney Briley, and that's, and, 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 and those were the less, less horrible people. There was also JFK chopping off arms, or Nixon chopping off arms, like I say, 
as JFK, he was a punk, very, very, very horrible person that was very cruel and very mean and took pleasure out of just, out of hurting people. And then as, uh, as Nixon, he basically became full-fledged psychopath and chopped off arms and even made a public address to everyone telling of this. So, anyway, whatever. The Ir Ireland or Irish people knew some of what was going on in the universe and the world and basically started to understand, to have a deeper understanding of basically existence at some point in time, I believe, as most races or most civilizations do. Like I said, and then there's, of course, the, the English Empire, which lasted a thousand years, and basically my local jets are over a thousand years old for some great amount of time, basically, and it had to be reskinned with modern-day aluminum, and they fly very nicely. They're very good jets, and they're very old, too, and having existed over a thousand years, so, or been in existence, the design. Anyway, many of my things, they're originally made out of wood, and they were updated to be uh, made out of aluminum or something like that and rebuilt, and there's a lot of stuff that you just don't know about or is considered national security or you're just not that young, so. Anyway, like I say, get a clue, so. Anyway, um, like I said, I am an existence master or civilization master, basically, or was when I was working. I said I spent 1.5 million years doing community service as they thought I was this horrible psychopath that had destroyed blah, blah, blah. And meanwhile, of course, other psychopaths were actually, the real psychopaths were being unleashed onto the universe or some shit like that, and I don't give a fuck. It's like, well, I built, a, I built 12 or 24 or 60 great civilizations that existed in the universe, and meanwhile, a couple of people were trying to go on basically space piracy, trying to destroy planets or something, but it's like, uh, you're not going to get that far. Anyway, whatever. Like I say, I don't really care. Basically, I existed for hundreds, for 99 trillion years. It's more than most people ever know about, or even can, can, can rationalize. Like I tried to tell Rodney, you can't rationalize existence as long as mine. And other people have verified that basically my existence was one of the longest and, mo and, and most steadily running existences of all. So, which, which hit a few speed bumps in 1850 as I was nuked. The people found me, saved me, and then I was again killed by Abraham Lincoln as he was trying to say he adopted me and basically had control of the White Star Line money. But he was probably working for JFK or someone, I don't really know, and I don't really care. You'll have to ask Abraham Lincoln and his stupid fucking sons. And Abraham Lincoln was running around saying that he was president, but he was just president of Amish land or Amish territory, which was one little state somewhere, basically. And they were trying to grab women to yank them back to their hometown to rape them. And eventually they were, the town was built for them and they were put in place with fences around them and told never to leave. Ever. So, they didn't. So anyway. And basically... Because they were such a problem, so.